So we've all been camping, um, we've all thought about it, we've all dreamt of it at least, or we've all been offered it, we were too scared or something, and we didn't go, or we went. And we could have had a better time than we did, right? Like, some of us might have stepped in poo, or like, some of us might have fell in the lake. But today we're going to teach you about location, and some dangers of camping, and what you can do to have a great time. Being in the outdoor requires a lot of responsibility, because one, you might have a girlfriend that could get eaten by a mountain lion, or you know, you might run out of food. You gotta be mindful that like, you know, you're in a group and that their lives might be at your hands. Um, so to have a great trip, we need to know what to bring, where we're camping, and the dangers of it. And sometimes not doing these might get you in trouble with Mother Nature. <coughs> Um, so for location, it's always good to find a place at home. It's never good to do it like on the spot, because when you do it on the spot, you don't know like what you could see, what you're like, you know, what to expect. You want to make sure that the campsite accommodates the number of people that you're going with. A lot of park rangers, I was, a, I used to be an Eagle Scout, or I am an Eagle Scout, and um, camp rangers are very anal about like how many people can be in a group at once. So you gotta almost make sure that. So you're going with five day lot five. Because you might get separated and that sucks. You also want to make sure that the campsite allows fire or that there is a fire pit to use because it can be really harmful for the environment and it can be really bad for the campsite itself if it doesn't allow it. And um, you also want to make sure that there are no campsites near water or if there is, try to avoid them because the animals will feed on them, you know, to drink water. Brian Elko, a writer from roadtrippers.com, says that the safest campsites are found and not made. If you mess with nature, then nature will mess with you back, and it's always good to respect where you go, because then you will know the importance of respecting nature. <coughs> it's always good to never trash your campsite, and to um, always have good responsibility of where you're at, with the people you're at, you know, your surroundings. When people trash campsites and trails, they're making a terrible impact on nature, and like leaving a ball cap on the foot, even that's terrible because the bird could eat it and die. Uh, you also want to make sure that you use biodegradable products, um, so so it doesn't biodegrade. You know, you don't want to like trash it. Um, also, some people don't know that like their poo is biodegradable and that you could actually like, dig it up and it can make it for better dirt. Um, chapter seven of that Boy Scout handbook that's back there says that you can dig a hole, call it a cat hole. And it's actually better than just going to a porter potty because it's cleaner and safer. If you're a smart person, then you will dig a cat hole off trail and you will stay on trail to not step on those or to go into animals or Indian reservations or anything like that. <coughs> and then you also want to be prepared for um, current conditions like checking the weather. You also want to make sure that the weather's okay for everyone. You know, you don't want to get caught in a rainstorm. You want to make sure that there, if there is an emergency, that you know like what to do, tell everyone where to go, where the car is, you know? And you also want to make sure that you pack accordingly, and that's what Nick is going to talk to you about today. So when camping, here are some key essentials or some key things that you will need as you go to your trip. Um, <coughs> one thing you need, of course, is food and water. You're going to need some canned fruits or freeze-dried fruits, whatever is suitable, suitable or what you like to eat, you know, you gotta have something sustainable for as long as you're out there and you have to enjoy it. Of course, it's food. Um, also have nuts and cereals, a higher protein, they're easy to pack and they're light and um, taste hella good, so why not? Um, also, you can pack granola bars, teas and coffees, instead of just drinking plain old water, you can mix it up with some, uh, some packets of like uh, sugar teas and like uh, coffees you can heat up easily. Next, I'm gonna talk to you about clothing. So when you're camping, you wanna bring light and warm clothing so you are not cold at night when you're sleeping. You wanna have um, flannels, plants, and shorts, you know, you gotta, just in case, it's hot, you gotta put on some shorts. You're gonna walk for a long bit, 
and then you're gonna come back to your campsite, and you're gonna take a nap, and then you pass out, and then you do it again. That's what solid camping is about. You gotta enjoy nature. Also, bring a hat just in case it's sunny. Also, have a watch. Never lose track of time, of course. And um, some comfortable and long wearable shoes. Also, uh, you could also pack like uh, a backpack, a water bottle. Water bottles are important. You could have like a hydro flask or like something to keep warm water warm or cold water cold. Uh, and also, yeah, bring thick socks or like comfortable socks, depending on what you're camping and where you are going. Also, uh, smart packing. Pack smart. So pack pack what you need. Don't overpack. Uh, I took this girl camping once. Man, she packed like two heavy jackets, like five pairs of pants, like six pairs of shorts. I was like, what are you doing? We're just here for like two days. And it was just completely hot. So she was like dying. Uh, also, don't overpack, of course. Pack like very light clothing. <coughs> and pack what you need and not what you want. That's priority number one. And now Garrett's going to talk to you about the dangers of camping. Really simple how to not die. You just have to not be dumb. It's basically just common sense. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Basically, when you're out camping, you have a few things you just don't want to do. Like, just don't mess with the wild thing. Simple things like, don't high five bears. That's a simple thing you can do. Bears are about like three times the strength as Merrick back there, and he's a big dude. Excuse me, man. Also, you're not having fun with Bambi over here. It's a sad movie too. Bambi is gonna Bambi's dad is gonna come up there before he gets shot. Damn it's gonna get in you. Last thing you need to do is also bring sunscreen. You're not sun tanning with snakes either. You're gonna probably die too. You're gonna look like a lobster. Another thing you're gonna not do is anything with wild plants half the time. Probably die too, get asked. What you're not gonna do is find a pretty little little leaf leaf plant and smoke it. I don't do that. Some of you might just don't do it. Another thing you're not gonna do. That pretty little berry is not good for you either. You're gonna get sick. It's really, really bad for you. You're not bear grills either, so it's not gonna have some McDonald's on the side off camera. Also, the rash you get from smoking those and eating those berries is gonna be really painful. It's not gonna go away fast. You're gonna need to bring some more creams, not just sunscreen either. Another thing you're gonna have to learn to do is simple surviving. The water you find out there, it's not better, it's not hippie water, it's not better because it's natural. Bring some Aquafina, bring one of the flasks he talked about with the water in it, not some, not some fun juice in the flask either. Rubbing the plants on your arms is not going to be a fun time either with those rashes. There's no ancient secret to the plants or anything, so don't do it. And then the last one, no joke, learn how to make a fire. You're going to be super cold out there. It's going to be really, really, really not fun if you're cold. One of the things you should also see is a bear high five. But what we learned today basically <laughs> is when going out camping, you have to first start at your home, learn where you're going to be going to camp. Don't go camping in the desert and bring mountain gear. Don't go camping in the, in the mountain and bring desert gear. You want to pack, pack smart and pack accordingly. Bring food, water, all the essentials, but don't overpack either. And with dangers, again, not going to be high-fiving a Merrick bear over here, or you're not going to be suntanning with snakes, or going doing any of the other dumb stuff. You have to be really smart about when you're going camping. And that's pretty much how to pack. Just don't be dumb. Thank you. Computer and I need a flash drive. And then Chalmers is. I need a flash drive. You get ready to go.